This is Joel Salkoff with an exclusive video for eArchitect. Today we have with us Joseph Mizzi, president of Xiaomi, known as the king of New York City construction companies. Joseph continues the eArchitect series detailing Renzo Piano's first New York City project, the Morgan Museum and Library. We began with Piano's creative design for the Morgan. Piano's partner in charge of the Morgan, Giorgio Bianchi, described his on-site administration of the design. Frank Pryle Jr., executive architect for Bayer Blinder Bell, took me on a personal tour of the Morgan where he helped meet regulatory standards and demonstrated his specialty of restoration. Scott Hughes of Robert Silman Structural Engineering described management of the excavation. Two-thirds of the Piano Morgan is underneath Manhattan, deep into the hard schist. Today, Joseph Mizzi describes managing the construction where over 400 men and women completed Piano's revision. In this episode, we begin in the green room as Joseph prepares for the interview to come. Stay tuned to eArchitect UK for more. How you doing? I'm doing fine, Joseph. How are you? Hey, doing good. Um, we're on a first name basis here. Um, um, it just makes it easier uh, to be as informal as possible. Good. And actually, I know you're gonna, we'll send them to you later. But I took out one of my prior presentations on the construction of the museum, and I that way I can speak to some of the um, questions uh, uh, raised in your email about the construction process. And then what I can do is send them to you. Um, you might like this one. That's a uh, this is uh, Giorgio Bianchi and Renzo Piano and Charles Purse at the construction site. Yeah, I just wanted to get some of these um, images together real quick. I, I took the whole presentation with me. Just, uh, okay. This, this one's a good one, too. Did you mention about the construction of the foundations? Yes, I have that one and the previous one. What I want to know, actually, is what happens after that picture. Got it. Well, that's what we'll do then. So let me, because uh, I have this in chronological order, so I'm going to get rid of all the foundation work that, that you already discussed with, with Scott on. I'm gonna, He's very impressive. Oh, yeah. He's a good man. That's, that's a very good firm in general. Uh, in George, fact, I, Giorgio Bianchi told me that uh, they hired that firm because of their work on the Carnegie on Carnegie Hall. Yeah, that's right. They did a they did a similar project, a, a deep excavation into rock. For instance, this is a shot of the construction of the uh, underground vault after oh. the foundation. And uh, here's when we're putting an interior stair in place. June 2004, like the rain arrived. So like things like that, I can just use my. But again, I'm gonna have to just. I got a lot of stuff here, so in some cases I'm going to have to, uh, like this is a good one. This is Giorgio, myself, and Renzo Piano. So, um, uh, you want me to tell you what else I'm going to be asking you about? Sure, certainly. Um, your uh, firm is known as being architect uh, architecturally uh, friendly to architects. And so, um, uh, this is an audience of architects. And I, I, I would like you to talk uh, to the issue of how you work with our architects and what architects need to know about the construction industry. Sure. And um, then I'm also going to be asking you about uh, uh, virtual reality modeling and BIM. Sure. Uh, and the would, yeah. Would say, yeah. The Cooper Square uh, example is probably the best Unless you have another one. Um, that's a that's a good one, actually. Yeah. Okay. We do, we do have others, but I think the best thing, and I can mention, we're doing some 
you know, buildings today using a higher level of BIM technology and doing a building with Todd Williams and Billy Chen on Princeton University's campus. But it might be better just to mention that. Oh, yes, stuff. please do. Yes. Okay, good. Okay. So I'm ready. How, how long do you want to spend? Uh, 30 what, half an hour? Perfect. Okay. Um, I've got a timer running here. Um, let me see. Um, okay. Let's go. These photographs of New York City's Cooper Union Square show the work of architect Tom Main of Morphosis. Cooper Union Square, built by Siami Construction, is notable for the extent of compliance with BIM. Building information modeling and evolving international standards includes software uniformity from the architect's office through contractors and subcontractors. The National Institute of Standards and Technology estimated the absence of unified software, known as inoperability, results in a waste of $15.8 billion annually in the U.S. At Cooper Union Square, Uniformity of Software and Virtual Reality Modeling, a tool for making changes before construction begins, were incorporated from creation to completion. Structural engineer Scott Hughes observes BIM has swept through the New York City architecture, engineering, and construction community only within the past two years. Giorgio Bianchi reports from Paris Architects at the Renzo Piano Building Workshop have included in their work BIM and virtual reality modeling. 